Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a teleport effect inside Unreal Engine 5 with a blueprint. So I'm using the third person template inside Unreal Engine 5. So this tutorial will be on using a teleport effect, how to teleport the player from one platform to another platform just using blueprint. So first of all, I need some input and let me go and create that inside the input. And this is the new way how you handle input inside Unreal Engine 5 with actions and input mapping context. So I need to add that in the action. I will call this right click input. Just sorry, input input action. I will call this IA teleport. And this will be my teleport action. Let me go back to the context and this is my container. I need to add that input and the key will, I will use the E key. Why not? Let me save and go back to the third person. Okay. This is the third person and just go teleport and I will call my action. Okay. So I need some variable. Let me make a variable say can teleport. And this is just for checking if the player can teleport or not. So say get and please check on start, not on trigger. Okay. I need to do this once. So on a start by default, he is let me compile by default. He is false. So let me do the teleport actor itself. So go back to this folder blueprint and make a new actor blueprint. So call this BP teleport actor and this will be our teleport actor let me open this up as as this and make a scene as usual and call this root because i hate this icon and that's it's oh, it will be a simple let me add a box this will be our platform and scale this about this and make sure that the collision won't block the the pawn itself so let me go to custom and just ignore the pawn and after that i will add a niagara system i have in this project let me select this one and it will be just like that okay move them up maybe or down i think 10 is too much for moving okay let me do this let me scale him more down like that okay let me change the material in fact because the material is too bright let me use this one or this one no it's too, too blue make this one compile let me drag and drop this node sorry teleport actor inside our scene so I have this one I need to teleport for example me teleport him me zoom on that and make him teleport to this okay so i need a reference i need the reference that this teleport actor can hold reference for this one and this one can hold reference for this one so let me do this so make a variable call this let me call this other teleport actor and what type of it will be bp teleport actor and make sure it's instance editable so compile that so if I go this I can pick this one and this one I can pick this one so this node this teleport will this teleport actor will teleport to this one and this one will teleport back to this one now if I go now I have all these things so if i go to the third now i need to make other collision let me do a box collider call this box collider and let me lift him up like that maybe more okay good and let me give him 40. Just like this okay so let me compile now on component begin overlap so i need something when the player begin overlap with that say hey to the cast to the pp this actor when he overlap with this one okay give him the ability so so he can teleport so now i can say set 
can teleport to true okay now if i go back and when that has been activated by default it's not by default it's not if i say let me print something anything and compile if i go from anywhere i can't i can't teleport okay because this is still false so if i can teleport i need to something to teleport to so by default i don't have any reference to that so i need to make another reference or i will call this teleport actor and it will be also the same of bb teleport actor okay and now i need to teleport to that node but it's still no it's still no nothing has been assigned to this actor so i need to pass this one this one okay so let me make a function now call this set the port actor and i will drag and drop this one and from this to that node and it will set that to that actor okay so it won't be a null because i need something to teleport to so let me go back and i will say okay set teleport actor and which type of actor you can pass self sorry if i say self sorry self it will be a reference it it's B valid, but it's not the case. I need the other one, so I need this one. But before I do this, I need to make check if it's a valid thing. So if it's a valid, then I will pass that, okay? Then I will pass that, okay? Only if it's a valid, only if I picked someone and it's there in, inside the editor, okay? go back to the third person and now also i need to check if it's valid or not so make it if it's valid and then i will say please teleport me to that location so i will say get actor location and it will teleport me to that actual location so let me compile and test that so let me log something because let's see <laughs> can't teleport let me compile so by default if i say i can't teleport now if i go to this node and teleport also i can't teleport let me see why uh, mm, sorry, I need to make him can teleport to true, not false. So let me go back. I teleport now. Now he's success, successfully teleport from one actor to another. Okay. So if you now you have done this, okay. Now watch. If I press E on the keyboard again, I will teleport. So I need something on end overlap. So on box the same one on on the end overlap i will do this copy paste the other actor the same one but this time i will turn off the ability so the player won't longer can teleport to to the to the uh, teleport actor so let me do this and i can teleport and if i say e i can teleport so i have a block him from doing this again so if you want to Add some smooth to that you can for example uh, let me see on this and I can for example let me get camera boom and I will set a camera lag set enable camera lag to true so let me set him let me set the camera to lag okay and the lag speed lag speed set camera lag speed to six and let me compile now and play so if i teleport now with the e 
and he have this smooth effect so when I uh, continue to play the the lag itself is, is still there it's, it's still active so I need to go to the third person and on complete sorry on complete give me some delay for example about point five or maybe point five sorry point five and set that camera lag back to full so camera lag to false okay so when I press E by default I can't teleport so he will throw this warning so you can't teleport so only if I have a teleport actor that has been passed to this function then okay teleport me to that actor so if I press E by default I can't teleport me do this I will teleport and after 0.5 seconds the lag has been disabled okay like this okay so how this is how you can do some teleport effects let me go back and walk you through this I made this platform is just for decoration this is also for decoration all I need to care about this box collider as soon the player he collide with that okay now he can teleport and pass the other actor that has been in instance editable, editable to this actor so he can teleport to that actor so I'm passing the other teleport actor to that teleport actor and enable his camera lag so he give him give the player some smooth when he teleport and when he leaves the collider itself disable the can teleport so when now when I say E now please teleport can I teleport he's asking so if it's false he will throw this error and if it's true okay give me the teleport actor that has been set by this one okay and also check for for if it's valid it won't hurt you so if it's valid okay teleport me back and after when you've released your from the e keyboard and after you have completed that after 0.5 seconds go back and turn off the camera lag so this is all about that so if you can take this this is the logic okay so I can teleport from one actor to another with a smooth okay so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learn a lot so see you in the future